Hello. Low pressure is very much running the show across Western Europe at the moment, showing up very nicely on our latest satellite imagery. This swirl of cloud with its heart across the UK, but further fronts are waiting in the wings as well to get entrained and come pushing into Western Europe for the end of this week. We'll see further snow across the Alps, but progressively clearing here through Friday. Some heavy rain though across the Balkans, strong gusty winds too, but some of the wettest of the weather by this stage will feed further south into Greece, example for Crete, still looking pretty wet across Sicily and southernmost Italy. Much clearer for Sardinia and Corsica, and you get further west, and that second weather front is going to bring quite a wintry mixture into Iberia, below average temperatures in Madrid. Some snow, I think, for the Spanish plateau. Some stubborn cloud across uh, northern France into the low countries, but overall, I think prospects are set to brighten here by the time we get into the start of the weekend. As you can see, they're still pretty lively across the western side of the Med and further east, the heavier rain feeding its way towards southern Turkey and eventually towards Cyprus. So a lot of mobility in the weather pattern across Europe in the coming days, but it does look like we'll see some milder weather pushing in to the northwest, albeit accompanied by quite a lot of cloud for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in Berlin doing very well in some brightness as well, nearly 20 degrees on Saturday. Today. Hello. Parts of Nebraska have seen devastating flooding in the last 24 hours, courtesy of heavy rain out of this area of low pressure that we see on the satellite behind me. Part of the problem was the rapidly falling rain causing uh, dramatic ice melt as well. So there's been ice jamming in some of the rivers. The worst of the actual wet weather will shift further south for Thursday. Heavy rain expected across the deep south, particularly through the southern Mississippi Valley. Still got the remnants of an area of low pressure, bringing some wintry weather into eastern Canada. Further west, it's looking pretty cloudy, really right the way along the length of the Pacific coast. Rain running into the coast of British Columbia, a little fresh snow for the Alps. So rather cloudy for Vancouver, outbreaks of rain for San Francisco. I think Los Angeles just lumbered with some thicker cloud, not too much in the way of wet weather arriving here. But generally for California, it's a rather soggy story actually as we go through the remainder of this week and into the weekend. Further east, as promised, here's that area of low pressure now exiting actually the northeast of Canada, so things gradually becoming quieter across the Maritimes. Some sunshine for New York, for Myrtle Beach, but this whole area of low pressure will continue to roll its way eastwards in the following 48 hours. So we could see uh, some flash flooding where we get some of the heavier rain. We could even see something a little wintry for Montreal and New York on Friday. Hello. We've seen reports of heavy rain leading to some quite devastating flooding in parts of Paraguay at the moment. The skies on the latest satellite image very clear. However, this area of low pressure developing from the south is going to feed some heavy rain basically into the River Plate region with showers becoming increasingly widespread across not just Paraguay but Uruguay and northern Argentina for Thursday. Some pretty widespread sunshine for Venezuela, still some heavier showers close to Bogota, but the heaviest of the rain I think to the north of the continent will be for northern and northeastern Brazil on Thursday. Sunshine in Rio de Janeiro, showers for Florianopolis, and it looks like Buenos Aires may just escape the wettest of the weather on Thursday, but certainly uh, some very wet weather around in this part of the world. For Rio de Janeiro though, a lot of sunshine in the coming days. Buenos Aires also set fair with increasing temperatures but more showers on and off for Bogota. Meanwhile, for Central America, sunshine in Mexico, increasing number of showers though across uh, Nicaragua and all the way down into Costa Rica. If anything, some heavier rain affecting Jamaica on Thursday with showers for Haiti and the Dominican Republic, but looking a little clearer by this point in the week across the Bahamas. It looks like Havana though could have some showers close by on and off in the next five days. Hello. Thanks to low pressure, which is actually driving the weather across Europe at the moment, we're expecting some quite uh, gusty winds and stormy conditions to the north of the African continent in the next couple of days. A trailing weather front stirring up some dust and sand and leading to poor visibilities across parts of Algeria and increasingly Libya on Friday. Also some heavy rain possible here and for Malta. 
further south, heavy downpours across the eastern half of South Africa, towards the west, Cape Town dry, and with increasing amounts of sunshine, we'll see temperatures rising here in the coming days. In fact, by the time we get to Sunday, we could be getting close to 30 degrees. The showers slow to clear in Johannesburg and just 20 degrees here Friday and Saturday. Looking further afield, outbreaks of rain for Casablanca tending to clear by the time we get into the early part of the new week. As for the Middle East, further showers still to be found here on Friday across Iraq and for Iran, of course, which has been so badly hit by flooding, we're anticipating some heavier rain, particularly running into the northwest through the early part of the weekend. Much of the Middle East, of course, continuing with sunshine in the next few days, but with quite a strong southerly wind to the south of this weather feature, we could see uh, some more widespread problems with reduced visibility thanks to blowing dust and sand, but certainly quite a few showers in our outlooks for the next few days. Hello. Parts of northern, western and central India have been experiencing a heat wave in recent days. Temperatures in some spots six or seven degrees above the average figures for this time of year. Plenty of sunshine on our most recent satellite picture, but we are expecting uh, some squally showers to develop across northern India in the next 48 hours. Uh, the shower is very isolated, but with gusty winds, we could kick up some dust and sand and cause some quite significant visibility problems also anticipating some heavier showers developing in the northeast across Bihar, parts of Sikkim and West Bengal. As we move further north, we catch up with an area of low pressure that brought actually heavy rain into parts of Iran most recently. It's going to bring some pretty hefty showers into the Hindu Kush with snow across the highest ground. Still quite a lot of warm air ahead of it though, certainly warmer than we'd expect for the time of year, for example in Islamabad. The odd isolated shower possible across the western ghats of India. Sunshine for the Maldives, isolated showers in Sri Lanka. But here's a closer look at where we're anticipating some of that heavier rain across the northeast of India on Friday. For uh, Kolkata, though, I think we will perhaps see the worst of the showers away to the east through the early part of the weekend. But a similar story uh, repeating itself by the time we get into the middle of next week. Tashkent looking much clearer for Saturday. Showers returning here for Tuesday and Wednesday. Hello. We've seen heavy rain affecting southern and central China in the last couple of days. The weather front responsible, though, is now going to push offshore and develop into an area of low pressure, which promises some pretty wet weather, actually, for the southernmost islands of Japan in the coming days. But following behind that, some clearer prospects for eastern China. Some quite strong winds, too, as that weather system rolls through the heaviest of the rain for the likes of uh, Kyushu and Shikoku, I think, on Friday. Further north, some sunshine for Seoul and for Beijing, a fresher feel here than we had earlier on in the week. Some quite heavy showers affecting parts of Vietnam, Laos and Cambodia. The odd heavier downpour for northern Thailand too, and still plentiful showers across Indonesia. With increasing amounts of sunshine, things are set to warm up though across Japan, up to 21 in Osaka by Sunday. Let's head to Australia and New Zealand now. We're keeping a close eye on this area of low pressure here. Looks like it will develop into a tropical cyclone in the next 24 hours and track its way along the west coast of Australia, closely following on from Veronica. We'll keep a close eye on that for you. For New Zealand, we still have a weather front pushing its way from south to north for Friday. Quite showery prospects across the northern half of the country, but high pressure will start to establish here come the weekend, so we should see things becoming increasingly settled. Still looking rather more changeable, though, across the South Island.